I've heard whispers about you. If it isn't Aloy. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. The savior of Meridian. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Just Aloy. When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? You were not born of a woman, Aloy. Because I wasn't born? The mountain is your mother. I was made. We're the exact same. Genetically identical. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. A fearless, red-headed man. Quick, distant, stubborn. You fight as someone who has always had to stand alone to survive. Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. It looks impossible. Look deeper. This is where it ends! Fight like you can win. <laughs> Yeah, it is. The warrior with hair like wildfire. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We all just have to remember them then. My old focus. You repaired it? That means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. Rost? You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. He learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. He loved me in his own way. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. What did it feel like? For a long time, I hated the idea of home. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? For me, it meant... You said I wouldn't leave them. Where I grew up. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. Where I wasn't wanted. You will turn back, outcast. Ever since I was an outcast, I've been fighting. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day. Machines, AI, Zenith, even whole tribes. It's all I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. That has been my life for two years. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. Aloy? Just one enemy after another, but the biggest still to come. You're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Is something wrong? Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Do you think I can do it all? I am grateful. Live up to her example? For your extraordinary contributions. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. It's Aloy! She flies on the wings of the Ten. You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. No. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? How is it in really place at all? It's more like... The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. The people I want to be with. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. 
now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. There's another battle ahead. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone.